how are you doing? So as the video title suggests, I have a new perspective for you on the whispering technique. Anyone that is into conscious creation has heard of it and maybe you've even tried it and have been successful uh, with it consciously because you are successful with it all day every day. But what it is, so it is said that what you say to someone in silence, that is what you will get back. But it's much bigger than that. Whenever you are manifesting, consciously creating, you're whispering. Whenever you want a parking spot, a free cup of coffee, um, you're consciously creating a new house, a new job. A message from your specific person you are whispering so it's not just when you are sending the vibes and the words and the words that you want to get back it's everything that you do you are energy I am energy we are all energy words are vibrations and energy you know the um, uh, Masuru, Masuru Dr. Masuru Emoto experiment with the water crystals if not, I'll link it in the description down below. This is also based on vibration and words. Watch the clip, it's really amazing. So what else with regards to the whispering technique? Be aware of the fact that you are sending energy first. The words are secondary, always. Sometimes you hear the words literally back reflected to you and mostly you get situations reflected back to you, situations you either like or don't like. You have been whispering them and you're whispering to yourself as well all day, every day. And how do you do that? With your thoughts and your thoughts have a certain vibration which make you feel a certain way. We all have been in this um, experience that so either on the receiving or the giving side, that someone that really dislikes you and you know that because you can feel it, says something very nice to you and you can just feel the, the emotion behind the words and that they're not meaning what they're saying. And you have done the same. I have done the same. Like we're all human. Well, actually we're all spirits playing that we're human. And we've all said things that we actually didn't mean and it came across we all received words that had a different intention behind them and we could feel it so first get clear on your intention when you're needy and you're saying certain things that you want to receive and get back it's not gonna happen when you're wanting it's not gonna happen when you trust and you know and you feel and you give, then it will happen. Also, the second part of it, have you ever gone to first whispering, saying, I want this and this and this and that from you, really having the clear intention, the loving, freeing, clear intention with the whispering, and then gone to the receiving end of it, because what, is hap what happens usually is you meditate, you do the technique, you whisper, and then you're, then you're waiting. You're like, okay, why is it not here yet? And that's exactly what you shouldn't do. Because when you whisper, it is a done deal. So when you have whispered the situation that you want to receive, the words that you want to receive, the text message, the... Um, the money, whatever it is, then you go to the receiving end and you go to, I did it, I created it, and now I have received it. Isn't it wonderful? So it's really cool to think about this more and to realize that we are whispering all day every day being in the wish fulfilled is whispering to yourself energetically ah, isn't it wonderful 
isn't it wonderful that what I have intended, that it came true? That's it for now. I probably have some more to say on this because as you can sense already, it's a very deep subject. It has many layers. And um, before I go, please also, when you whisper, go to the receiving end. Don't just go to the, I consciously create this situation. Also go to the, I consciously created it. And wow, it just happened. It came, it came true. That's it. See you soon.